Hey, 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 here's Captain K. Ahoy, you land lovers, and welcome aboard my channel. I'm Captain Concept, and in this tutorial, we're going to talk about smart train loaders. Now, in the beginning, to load a train, you place down a few inserters, but you also want a buffer that can fill up while the train is not here and unload everything into the train as soon as he arrives. With a setup like this, the first inserter will pick up everything he can grab and fill up this chest, so usually this chest is full. While the last chest, actually, let's use it to our advantage and disconnect that for now. While the last chest uh, only grabs what's left, what these inserters left, and usually is quite empty. So we have an imbalance of, uh, of uh, ore, or in this case coal. Now, the problem with that is if this chest is completely full and this one is almost empty and the train arrives when they fill the, the wagon, we're not getting the maximal throughput, especially with those stack inserters. You know, let's start another research and tear up the inserter size. In the end, they can pick up quite a few resources at the same time. So they can empty those chests quite fast. But if the last one only have little resources, it'll be emptied quite quickly and then the inserter will stop working. So we want them to be filled as evenly as possible. Now there are some very complicated ways with uh, splitters to achieve that. I'm not gonna show that here, but it basically involves splitters like, like this where the the ore comes in and then it splits it to these splitters that then split it to other splitters. And if you need more, it gets more and more complicated because you need to reroute uh, that ore back and, and so on. So I'm sure most of you have seen those complicated um, balancers that make sure that every chest receives the same amount of ore. But there is a very easy, um, very elegant way doing so by using an arithmetic combinator. So let's create that arithmetic combinators and we're gonna need some um, green wires and some red wires for that. And the way this is gonna work, let me replace those with stack inserters as well, actually. The way this is gonna work is we plug down this arithmetic combinator, let's say here. And then we hook up the green wire of all of the chests. Let me turn that around. So I connect every chest to the input of this arithmetic combinator. So this arithmetic combinator is reading the amount of ore that's in all of those chests. So currently 5,400. And then I'm gonna set this input, the amount of coal, and I divide it by minus four so that we have a negative number of the quarter of the total amount. So this is always the amount of chests. We have four chests. So by dividing the total amount by four, we have roughly the content of one chest or what the content of one chest should be. And by applying a negative number, we're gonna subtract that from the next condition. So we're also gonna set up the output of this arithmetic combinator to each of those inserters, like this. They now receive a negative, the negative uh, number, the negative quarter of the amount of coal in those chests. Now the thing with the circuit network is if you have an input of a red and a green wire, the system is using the inputs of both wires basically making an addition, or in this case, because that's a negative number, a subtraction. 
So if we now hook up every chest with every corresponding inserter like this, what happens is he is reading the amount of coal in the chest and that amount gets subtracted by the negative number of the average and that will give us a number of coal that's left. And now we can easily say if this is lower than 1 you should start to insert. So basically if we have a bigger amount in the chest that gets subtracted the signal is higher than 1 so it stops and if the amount of coal in the chest is less than uh, the average this will be a negative number so it'll be lower than 1 and that means that he'll start to insert coal. I can also use the shift right shift left click to copy that condition to all the other inserters. Oh and uh, one last thing that I forgot of course with this arithmetic combinator we need to set the output to the amount of coal as well. So we've got total of the chest divided by negative 4 and output this and now here we have the readings. This design by the way I think is created by Matt Tsuri so kudos to this guy and if we now connect this belt let's see what happens. This one doesn't insert because he has got more in the chest and they do and as soon as they would reach the level of this chest he would start to insert as well. Since we're now using stack inserters let's boost them a little more. But yeah excellent design so it's it's a uh, very compact it only uses one combinator and it makes sure that all of the chests have the same amount of ore loaded. I think this is excellent. So again, kudos to Matsuri for this fabulous invention. So I hope you liked this tutorial. If you did, please leave a like. If you have any suggestions or want me to make a tutorial on something else, let me know down in the comment section. Please subscribe if you haven't, or I'll make you swap the deck. This is Captain Concept, I wish you a fabulous day, and whatever you do, make sure you always have a hands-width of water on your keel. Arr.